This is the biggest <laughs> dog show in the United States. Nigel, tell us more about Miss P. Heather, is it sport? Maybe. Is it art? Perhaps. Is it competitive? My Jiminy, it is competitive. It is the Westminster Dog Show. And you don't just sh show up and win this. Let me tell you about Miss P, a four-year-old beagle, the pride of Enderby, B.C. The P, by the way, is short for Peyton. It could also be short for Princess, because that's how her handler describes her. The long version for Miss P, by the way, Tashtin's looking for trouble. Second beagle to win the prize, you'll remember the first one was Uno back in 2008. What's the connection? Uno is her grand uncle. Nice. So keeping it all in the family. That's that's I royal so. pedigree, but I guess. Good bones. Yeah. Good, good bones, good everything. Look at her go yeah. there. Oh, my goodness. My tail will be wagging a mile a minute, too, at all of that, <laughs> is watching her. What does she, what does she win? What's in it for the dog? Exactly. I mean, the dog does all the work, right? <laughs> well, it gets the big, the big silver trophy and the rosette. There's no money for winning America's top dog, but there is... The prestige, of course, possibly lucrative breeding rights, and a busy day today for Miss P. TV appearances, steak dinner at a posh Manhattan restaurant, a meeting with Donald Trump. I'm not sure who will enjoy that more, and a walk-on part in a Broadway musical. I think we'll be hearing a lot more of the very cute, the very lovable, the award-winning Miss P. There's steak tartare, <laughs> crab cakes on the menu at Sardi's where she gets to eat. I'm not sure what, what they're going to be serving to America's top dog, but big day in store. Nigel, <laughs> thanks so much. Of course.